I bought the iPad 2020 and I kind of regret it sometimes. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Mike and this is a digital life. Thank you for stopping by. So yeah, I just have to say it. Don't buy the iPad Pro for note taking, mainly for dads in their 30s and 40s. But this doesn't go for everybody. You are always busy like I am. And taking this thing around with you is not an easy task. A big word alert, it's because it's too cumbersome. All right, so I know this might not be an option for everybody. Honestly, if you're somebody that really, really likes Apple, I like Apple. I've always used Apple. My first phone was the Hero. You guys remember that, the HTC Hero? Well, right after that, I got an iPod Touch. And then I realized this might be the best thing in the world if this iPod Touch had a SIM card. So guess what? I got the iPhone 3GS. And from that point on, I've had almost every single iPhone there is to have. So I'm actually going to edit this video on a MacBook Pro, but I still prefer taking notes on my Note 20 Ultra. Let me break down a list of why before you guys click on to the next video or maybe click the thumbs down button. By the way, if I help you out at all in this video, give me a thumbs up. It's pretty obvious that using this versus using this, the Apple Pencil, definitely feels better. Your phone will tell you when you leave this behind. You can technically lose this a little bit easier and it falls off of the tablet pretty easy too. So my daughter has been using it every once in a while and it does fall off. This can slot right into the phone. So it's always with you. You never have to worry about it. But this just feels like something you always have to look out for. Uh, the second thing, you already have something when you buy this phone. The third thing, this S Pen is actually more enjoyable to write with. And I know I already talked about the fact that this feels better in the hands. It does. It does feel better in the hands. But you'll hear right now that likes to make a noise like that. And this you can't really hear anything. So the tip on the S Pen happens to be like a rubber tip and it kind of grabs onto the surface of the glass. And we're gonna talk about that, why that's important in a minute. And this right here is kind of a hard surface to it and it might last a little bit longer than the S Pen because of that. It's slippery when you write on the glass. But most people's solution to that is, and I bought into this, literally I bought three different screen protectors, screen protectors like this right here. Super Shield, uh, Belmond, and paper like so this is the screen protector i have on right now my am film the main reasons people were saying don't get am film is it takes away from the touch sensitivity on the screen from what i found there's no latency and it doesn't take away from touch sensitivity this is why people recommend these and actually go out and buy them you can see when i have this over what it looks like right so Here's the glass, the AM film that's on there right now. When it's up close to it, it's not as bad, but you guys get the idea, right? So it's blurry and it kind of stays that way. Paper like one of the well-known brands has like a rough texture to it. So when you touch it with your fingers, kind of has like a weird feeling to it, almost like nails on a chalkboard. It's not really an enjoyable experience that way either. It enables you to kind of like have a drag. It kind of drags against the pencil, which it kind of does make it a little bit more grippy. It doesn't slip as easy. The only other alternative would be to put a rubber tip on this as well, but I can't find any manufacturers that will make a rubber tip for that. The comfort when being able to control the speed at which you're writing and the detail that you can write. So this wins mainly because it's just more enjoyable to write with. I went to go use my MacBook today and I opened up the notes on the MacBook and they synced up in the cloud. And then I looked down at my iPad and it erased the notes that I had been taking for the past two or three months. It seems to me like iCloud sync and the notes in iCloud might not be uh, too reliable because of that, guys. I think that Samsung Notes is more reliable because every phone has always synced up. The Samsung Notes are exactly the same as they were on the previous device. The best thing to do would be just to go get Evernotes, use that third-party service, and take notes on that. And yes, I am sure I did something wrong when it comes to syncing. It just shouldn't be that difficult. Apple is known as the company that just works, right? Well, that to me just doesn't work. All right, guys, so sorry about the little rant, but I, yeah, I was kind of upset when that happened. So let's go back to the pros and cons of using the Note 20 Ultra versus an iPad for somebody that's on the go, like a dad. If my Note 20 Ultra is sitting next to my iPad when I'm out the door, then I'm going to grab my Note 20 Ultra, mainly because of the convenience. Okay, this is interesting because Apple made this amazing device, the iPad, and has done their best to make a great way for taking notes, but I guess it's just not for everyone. And I do feel like I may be a little too expectant of the iPad Pro 2020. I'm sure the iPad Pro 2021 is going to be faster, but they didn't change much in the user interface. So I'm expecting it to be fairly the same. Guys, I have to tell you, this right here is not going to be a MacBook replacement. 
don't get it for that either. For me, I tried to edit videos on this and yeah, I was probably using this the wrong software. I used Adobe Rush. It should have done it. My phone can do it no problem. And then when I went to go uh, transfer files, this iPad likes to keep the files that you put into it. I deleted the file and it stayed within this iPad and it took up the storage for a good couple of days for whatever reason. Maybe I should have bought the one terabyte version, but I bought 256 because I thought you could edit using an SSD like I do on my MacBook, but you can't. All you can do is send things to an SSD, a solid disk drive, which is an external hard drive. It really has not impressed me. The best thing it's for is probably for students. I let my daughter use it for school. She's in elementary school and she loves using this thing. It might be the money I spent on this iPad to get it. I really don't feel like it lives up to the price tag. The iPad is also touted as on YouTube as such a great device, but I don't see it in the same light. Yeah, it's a nice pencil, and I don't think that Apple really should have to give you this, but this comes with the, the S Pen. That is a win for me. The Note has an SD card, and it comes with Samsung Dex. It works out pretty cool. I, I turned it on a couple of times, and it's actually pretty seamless, and it looks really nice. You basically get like a computer operating system from your phone. One other thing before I go is there's a little button here on the side of the S Pen, and that right there will allow you to erase something, press and hold it, you can just erase away with the Apple Pencil. You have to double tap and you can see that little eraser down there. Double tap again and it goes down. So it's in erase mode and you erase like that. I get more accidental touches, like double touches on this than I do accidental presses on this button. So that means I accidentally erase every once in a while, which isn't a big deal. I can ride it over again, but it seems a little cumbersome and I don't know if there's anything they, could, they can do in software to fix that. That just makes me like the S Pen a little bit more. If you're straight up and down like this, it turns it into a small eraser, right? You can kind of see that. And when you turn it on its side like this it turns it into a bigger eraser it's actually cool apple is good about that kind of stuff they're good with their software they have good ideas all right so a solution for me you can't use an apple pencil with an iphone which is kind of a bummer i probably would do that so i thought well why don't i buy a stylus and use that with my iphone and that turned out not to be such a good idea here's why there was touch response issues and latency i had to put that idea away in about a few minutes basically right now if you're going to buy an iphone the best thing to do is just to use the keyboard on the iphone when i take notes i just use speech to text on the ipad you could type like this by moving it in the center and that's not a good experience either for note taking fast taking this out of your pocket is just the way to go just to have it so convenient so should you go out and buy a note 20 ultra for note taking um i would say no not if you're in the apple ecosystem but if you are thinking the iPad will be the answer to finding the best note taking device for busy dads, there might be a better way to get that done. It sounds like I'm talking super bad about the iPad and like I super dislike the iPad. No, I like the iPad. Um, I like it for playing games on. I like it for watching movies and stuff. I have other devices I can watch a movie on. This is supposed to be a productivity device. You're supposed to be super productive. This should be the perfect device for someone like a mom or a dad. Um, it should be able to do things simply. And I find myself trying to work this into my life. Like it was no problem. It's a phone. I've been using it for a long time. Yes. So there's not much of a learning curve there because I've been using phones a lot. There's no calculator. When I use my iPhone, I, I use a calculator a lot. I run calculations for landscaping. Having that ability to slide that down on my iPhone makes it super simple. I don't know what the deal is uh, with the iPad. Trying to be good at a, a lot of things or most things, but it's not the best really at anything except for being the biggest touchscreen uh, device that there is. It is fun and it's a novelty to be able to touch things on this big, huge screen. It's fun. But for me, being a dad on the go all the time with kids, I say that the iPad is a no for me. This is the device that I would recommend. My goal in this video was not to talk bad about the iPad. My goal in this video is to help you, if you are thinking about getting the iPad, to know that this might not be the best choice for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you have an iPad or if you're thinking about getting it and why. So why are you thinking about getting an iPad? I don't want to talk you out of getting it. I just want to know why you're getting it because maybe you can help me understand how to use this thing better. I could go and watch YouTube videos to learn how to use the iPad, but 
again, that's not something that somebody should have to do. There's a lot of gestures and things that help you get productivity done. And you go into T-Mobile or something like that, and they'll be swiping through no problem on their iPad. So and then they know all the gestures and stuff. And they're on that thing a whole lot. And that's something that they use all the time. I understand how somebody like that uh, might have, you know, good use out of this. I don't know, guys, am I wrong? Am I missing something? Uh, let me know in the comments below. My name is Mike, and this is Digital Life. I'm going to put links in the description uh, down below. My links are Amazon affiliated. The link will be to the iPad, to the Note, to some cases for the Note, to the glass screen protector that's also on my Note, which is also, by the way, AM film, and just some of my favorite things to use with the Note 20 Ultra. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. You'll be notified for future videos like this one in the future. So now it's time to go uh, edit this video. Also, let me know if you guys like these videos coming out every morning at 7 a.m. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.